Hi, second grade mathematicians. Today we are gonna finish our math workbook. Woohoo! Congratulations. So today for our lesson, we need a pencil, scissors, and a book. Um, and we're gonna be making estimations and then measuring each object. So an estimate is about how much you think in your head using your background knowledge something, um, the length of something is. So for example, if I look at this pencil, I might estimate that it is ooh, like 10 inches and maybe 26 centimeters. So in this column, your estimate is your best guess. So you're gonna estimate, you're gonna make an estimate for your pencil, how many inches long, how many centimeters long, your book, how many inches you think it is, how many centimeters you think it is, um, your scissors, same thing. And then we're gonna go through and we're gonna measure them and record the actual length. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is go ahead and put your estimates in, pause this video, and when you come back, we're gonna actually measure and see how long things are. All right, so you should have written down your estimate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure how long my pencil is. So you'll notice that I put the edge of the pencil on the zero, so that it's lined up. And then I'm gonna come over, it looks like my pencil is seven and a half inches and 19 centimeters. Seven and a half inches and 19 centimeters seven and a half inches and then 19 centimeters and it says circle the unit that gives you the larger number and the centimeters are, are um, is a larger number okay so next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure my book so I'm going to make sure that it's lined up to the edge and it looks like my book is ten and a half inches do you see, oh, it's not quite one half, but I'm just going to round it up. 10 and a half inches, and it looks like 26 centimeters. I like centimeters better because it's giving me a more accurate measurement. What about you? And then next we do the scissors, and the scissors are kind of tricky because this side's longer than the other side. I don't know if you'll have the same problem. So go ahead and measure your centimeters and then write it down. Which unit always gives you a larger number and why do you think this happens? So go ahead and fill that part out and then pause the video. All right. So next we're gonna be looking at jumps in centimeters, solve each problem and show your work. Sally jumped 56 centimeters and Kira jumped 63 centimeters. So right away I can tell that Kira jumped a little bit farther than Sally. But how much farther did Kira jump than Sally? So if I take 56, I have to figure out what's the difference, the difference between 56 and 63. So if I had these numbers on a number line, I would add four to 56 to get 60, and then I would add another three to get to 63. So four plus three equals seven. So the difference is seven centimeters. Can you think of another way to solve this? There are other ways to get this number. Um, and if you can think of another way, Great, mathematicians have lots of strategies. Next we have Jake jumped 43 centimeters and then he jumped 21 centimeters and then he jumped 12 more centimeters. So it looks like Jake got to jump three times and how many centimeters did he jump in all? So go ahead and pause this video and you can start working and then you can check your work when you're done. So 43 plus, I should write it over here, plus 21. Okay, so the first thing that I can do is I can break these numbers apart, 40 and a three, and 20 and a one. So 40 
plus 20 equals 60, and then 3 plus 1 equals 4, and then I add those together and I get 64. So he jumped 64 centimeters in all. And I can't remember which teacher told me this, but they said, whenever there's words in the problem, there should be words in your answer. And that always stuck with me. All right, so this next page is practicing the facts. So if you still have some subtraction facts that you need to practice, you can go ahead and practice them here. But I know many of you are gonna skip that because you're feeling confident that you know it. Ooh, next we have cat comparisons. So this cat has this cool shelf and we're gonna figure out how to solve to find out how tall each shelf is. So the first problem says, or let's read the directions. A cat is playing on a climbing tower with shelves. The tower is one meter tall. Shelf A is 30 centimeters from the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna label this 30 centimeters so I can remember. Shelf B is twice as high from the floor as shelf A. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double this and our answer is gonna be 60 centimeters because 30 plus 30 equals 60. And they already wrote centimeters for us so we don't have to write it. Shelf C is 32 centimeters above shelf B. So we're gonna take 60 and we're gonna add 30, which equals 90. And then we're gonna take 90 and we're gonna add two. So shelf C is 92 centimeters from the floor. The cat jumps down from shelf C to shelf A, how far is that jump? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract 30 from 92, right? 92 minus 30. So I know that 92 minus 10 is 82, 92 minus 20 is 72, and 92 minus, an I'm sorry. So we can do it this way. 92 minus 10 equals 82. 82 minus 10 equals 72. Do you see a pattern here? 72 minus 10 equals 62. And some of you won't need to do that. You'll find out the answer much quicker. So this is just one strategy of many. And how tall is the tower in centimeters? So that's a really good question. So how are we gonna figure this out? How tall is the tower in centimeters? Well, we know that the tower is one meter tall and one meter is 100 centimeters, right? We know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So that, that one did try to trick us because I think, yeah. All right. And then how far is it from shelf A to the top of the tower. So we're gonna take 100 centimeters and we're gonna subtract 30 because we know that it's 100 centimeters tall and we're gonna take away the first shelf from that. So 100 minus 30 is 70, right? Because 100 minus 10 is 90, 90 minus 10 is 80, and 80 minus 10 equals 70. 
Oh, you are not gonna believe this super scrolls, but you finished every, almost every, I think it's for every page in your workbook, your student activity book. Congratulations.